Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to do Polly Plum's Square Lisa. This is a beautiful square with a lot of texture on it and I really like this design. There are many interesting things happening and I'll take you step by step through the rows that make up this square. The yarn that I'm using is Scheepjes Stonewashed Yarn in combination with a 3.5mm hook. Round 1 I have a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to start with a chain 4 which I then close with a slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. If you prefer do a magic ring here that's also good. So either way you have a circle that you're going to start with. Chain 1 this is not a stitch just to get you to the correct height. Then inside the circle, inside the ring, work a single crochet. Chain 3 and another single crochet. I'm going to do this four times. Two, three chain stitches and a single crochet in the ring. This is all still small and a little fiddly but once you get to the next rounds so it'll be better. One, two, three chain stitches, a single crochet in the ring, and then one last time, one, two, three chain stitches. And now you don't have to do the last single crochet because you've already got that first one there, so I'm just going to close on that first single crochet with a slip stitch. So now you've got four chain three loops with the single crochets in between. Round two, I'm going to slip stitch into the next space. Here I'm going to start a corner. It's going to be a chain three for my first double crochet. Then another double crochet in this same space, chain two, and two more double crochets in that same chain three space. One and two. I've got two doubles, chain two, and two doubles in the same chain three space. To do a front post double crochet around the next single. So if you look there, if you just pull it apart you see that single crochet there. Do a front post double crochet around that. To yarn over, then around the post, front to back, and out the other side. Just pick up the yarn and complete the double crochet. This, this set of stitches we're going to do all the way around. In the next chain 3 space, work 2 doubles and 2, chain 2 and 2 more doubles and 2. A front post double around the single crochet. Now then repeat two times. In the next stitch, two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Around the front, around the single, we make a front post single crochet. And complete the single. The last loop, two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. 
then on that last stitch, that single crochet here, going to do a front post. But it is of course a little fudgy because we've also got that chain one there. Just around the single crochet, work a front post double. I'm going to close on the chain three with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn. So next round we're using a new color. Round three, have a new color yarn on my hook, and we're going to start in any chain two corner space. Start in there with a standing single crochet. Chain two and another single crochet in the same stitch. On the next five stitches, going to work a single crochet on each of those. So one, two, three. Four and five. And next chain two space, a new corner, which is a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. Repeat this all the way around, and when you get to the first stitch, close on that stitch with a slip stitch. Round four, I have a new color yarn on my hook. I'm going to start with a standing double crochet in any chain two corner space. Doesn't matter which one. Continue and we work two more doubles in the same space. Chain two, and then two, sorry, three doubles in that same space again. Two and three. That's your new corner made. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles. You're going to skip the first stitch. That's that little stitch there. Kind of being covered by your corner anyway. We're going to go to the second stitch. In that stitch work a back loop half double. So pick up the back loop only, work a half double, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch, back loop. We're now going to work a front post double around the front post double from round two. So that's that one there. To yarn over, around the stitch, pick up your yarn, and complete the double. On the back, you're going to skip two stitches. So that one and the next. So those two we're going to skip. And then in the third, going to work a single crochet. Back loop. And that last stitch before the corner, work a half double back loop. Next up is the corner. I'm going to do the same as the corner we started with. So that's three doubles. Two, two three. Chain two. And another three doubles. And then this is the same position where you started. And this corner is the same as that corner. So repeat on your other three edges also and close on your first stitch. Round five, new color yarn on my hook. In any chain two corner space, start with a standing single crochet. Chain two, and another single crochet in the same space your new corner made. We're now going to make a single crochet in every stitch to it to the other side. So 
every stitch so one two there's so eleven single crochets and when you get to the other side I'm going to work the same corner we just did so that's a single crochet chain two and a single crochet and repeat go all the way around work a single crochet on every stitch and when you're at the first position again close with a slip stitch I've now worked 11 so the corner single crochet chain 2 and a single crochet go all the way around and close on your first stitch round 6 got a new kind of yarn on my hook and we're going to start in any chain 2 corner space with this standing double crochet followed by another double actually two more doubles because you're going to do three doubles chain 2 and three more doubles one two and three so three doubles chain two three doubles in the same stitch this is your new corner on the straight edge go to skip the first stitch so that's that little one that one go to skip that stitch then in the next stitch back loop going to work a double crochet skipping the first one in the second stitch back loop only work a double one actually going to do that in the next two so also in the next stitch in the next stitch back loop half double and the next a back loop single We're now going to come down and work a front post double, oh sorry, yeah, a front post double around the front post double from two rows down. Go to yarn over and around the front post, work another front post double, two, chain three, three, and work another front post double around the same stitch. And just stack them in front of one another. There you go. That gives you this um, this this V-shaped stitch there. Up to the back, you're going to skip four stitches. So you just need to check that's that's the last one worked there. So we're going to skip one, two, three, four stitches. Then in stitch number five, work a back loop single. So you can see one, two, three, four stitches skip. Did I do am I doing that correct? Yes. And then work a back loop single, back loop half double, a back loop double crochet in the next two. So one. And two, which brings you to the corner. And the corner is again three doubles, two, three. Oh dear, I went a little wrong. Let's do that again. Three doubles, chain two, and another three doubles one two and three and this corner is the same as that one repeat this all the way around and when you've done that last double crochet close on the first stitch round seven new color yarn 
and we're again going to start in any chain 2 corner space. I'm going to start there with a standing single crochet, chain 2, and another single crochet. That's your new corner. On the next 6 stitches we work a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You have one single crochet left and the front post here. We're going to skip those two and go to the chain three space. In the chain 3 space, going to work 3 doubles, chain 2 and 3 doubles. In that chain 3 space, it's 1, 2, 3 doubles, chain 2 and 3 doubles. And this kind of looks a bit like the well, it looks a lot like the corner we we made in the previous row. So that's in that chain three space. We're going to skip the treble, or sorry, the front post double and the single crochet. So this is the same as on that side. So we're going to skip those first two and then go to the next single crochet. We're going to work six again. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six singles. Comes a chain two corner space, it's a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. And now you're at the same point we were where we started. So go all the way around and when you get to the beginning after your last single crochet, close on that first stitch. Round 8, new colour yarn on my hook and we're going to start in any chain 2 corner space. So it doesn't matter which corner you choose. And we're going to start in there with a standing double crochet. One, and we make two more, two, three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. So one, two, three. That's your new corner made. 3 doubles, chain 2 and 3 doubles. For the first straight edge, we're going to skip the first stitch. So it's going to be that little stitch there that's also kind of being covered by the corner stitches. And start in the second stitch. Back loop, we're going to make 3 double crochets. So in that second stitch, back loop, and work three doubles. So one, so in the next is two and three. So skipping the first stitch, then work three back loop double crochets. Back loop half double in the next. So half double, and a back loop single in the next. We're going to skip the next single crochet and then work a front post treble around the front post double from round 6. So it's going to be this one down here. We're going to work a front post treble around that stitch. That's twice over. Then around the stitch, back up and complete the treble. 
and this front post treble here is going to be notoriously easy to forget. So remember this front post treble. After this we're going to skip the next two stitches. Oh sorry, first a chain six. Sorry. First a chain six. One, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to skip basically everything that's here to the back. And we're going to work a front post double crochet front post treble around this front post double crochet on this side. Let's again twice over. Then around that stitch, work a front post treble. What you're going to do is you're just going to pop that chain six to the back. We're going to connect this to our work in the next round. For the moment, we just leave it to the back. Then you can see you've got these two front post trebles on either side of um, of these double crochets that we did in the previous round. We're going to skip the first two stitches. So after. Um, yeah, let me call it this point here. You're going to skip the first two. So it's going to be this single crochet and that single crochet. Then go to the third single crochet and in the back loop work a single. A half double in the back loop of the next and three doubles in the back loop of the next three stitches. That's one on each. two and three. Next up is your corner stitch if everything went right and in there you're going to work three doubles, chain two and three doubles. And this is then the same as the corner on the other side. And then you can repeat everything that we've just done on your next straight edge. So one just need two, need one more, three to open up here. You can see is that your work will kind of tend to curl inward a bit. Don't worry about this. As this square grows, it, these things will flatten themselves out. So just going to pop that chain six to the back. So this straight edge, repeat that on the other three also. And after you've done your last back loop double crochet, close on your first stitch. Round 9, new color yarn on my hook and we're going to start in any chain 2 corner space of your 4 corners. We're going to start in there with a standing single crochet. Chain 2 And then another single crochet in the same stitch. That's your new corner. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. On the next eight stitches, going to work a single crochet. So in the first one, so that's number one, two, three. And there was almost four, there we go, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Number eight is going to fall in your last stitch before the front post treble here. So that's going to be number eight. What we're now going to do is we're going to skip the front post treble and then pick up the stitches from two rows down. And in these double crochets we're going to be working and making sure, at least for part of what we're doing, that the chain six loop is to the back. You don't want to cover it at this point. We're going to do that halfway. Let me show you. What we're going to do is going to skip the treble and then and here you've got three double crochets. We're going to work a double on the second and third of those three stitches. That first one going to leave that one undone. So I'm going to work a double crochet in the second stitch 
and be sure to set your chain six spaces to the back. You want to leave that unworked at this point. So that's one double crochet and work a double crochet on the next. So this is the third of those three. So you've got the, stick, the first one unworked and the second and third you work a double crochet. We're now going to work in the chain two space here, the tip. But And now we're going to catch the chain six loop also. So through the chain two and the chain six. So now you're going to catch everything. Pick up your yarn and work a double crochet. Work another double. Chain two and two more doubles. All of all four of these stitches you're catching both the chain two and the chain six to the back. We're going to come down and work on the on again these three, the first and second after the little corner, the tip we made here. Exactly the same we did these two, we're going to work those two. And this time you're going to want to keep that chain six loop to the back. You don't want to keep, you don't want to work that. So on that first one, I'm just going to make sure that I miss that chain six. Grab your yarn and complete the double. And also with the second one, keeping that chain six loop to the back. Now we're going to continue in the stitches from round 8. So we're going to skip the treble and in that first single crochet we're going to work a single. In that first single crochet. It's the first of 8. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Seven and number eight. In the chain two space, make a new corner. So that's a single crochet, chain two, and another single. And I'm sure you can see how this single is the same as a single crochet corner we started with. Just to show you the work from the back, just open this up. You see here is your chain six loops that are still well undone, let me call them that, they're just they're still open. And here in the middle you've caught them with those four, two doubles, chain two and two doubles. So this is what your work should look like from the back. So from the front again, on the other th three edges do exactly the same. And when you get to the first stitch, close on your first stitch. Round 10, new color yarn on my hook, and we're again going to start in any chain 2 corner space. We're going to start in there with 3 double crochets, and the first one is of course a standing, and do 2 more, chain 2, and three more. One, two, and three. That's your new corner made. This round is again very similar to two rows down and four rows down. So I trust that you're going to start to see the symmetry of what we're doing. Going to skip the first stitch, that's that little one, and in the second one, in the back loop, work a double crochet. And this time we work five because we've got more stitches than we had two rows down. It's three, four, and five. Next is a back loop half double followed by a back loop single crochet. You can see how the pattern, the idea is the same as two rows down. Number of back loop doubles, a half double and a single. 
again a front loop, uh, sorry front post stitch, this time around the front post treble, I'm going to work a front post double crochet, yarn over around that treble, pick up and complete the double crochet. Again notoriously easy to forget so remember this front post. Chain two, one, two. Now to the back, you see these two chest spaces from the chain six. We're going to be working in those. In the next, actually the first one, work a double crochet. Chain four. and then come over to the second space here and work a double crochet in there chain two come forward and work a front post double around the front post travel from two rows down this is what your work now looks like from the back just turn it over. You see they are the two double crochets in those two parts of the chain six space. This way your chain four here, everything is to the back and it's already a little bit secured there, but we're going to do that again in the next round also. It's very similar to what we did here with the purple stitches we're going to do in the next round. First we need to complete this round, so we're again going to come back to row uh, where are we at? Row 9 and work in row 9 now. Then skipping the first two stitches in the third back loop, single crochet, back loop half double, and then back loop double in the next five. Two, three, four, and this is number five. Next up is your chain two corner space. I'm going to work a new, a new corner, the same as on the other side. So that's a three doubles. This number three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. One, two, and three. And as always, this corner is the same as the corner we started with. So on this straight edge, do that on the other three sides also, and close on your first stitch when you're all the way round. Round 11, with a new color yarn on my hook, again start in any chain 2 corner space with a single crochet, chain 2 and a single crochet. New corner made. Very similar to what we did two rows down, going to work a single crochet on each of the next 10 stitches. So that's stitch number. The first one, especially that very first one, be sure not to accidentally miss that. So next 10 stitches, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, this number nine, and ten. Number ten should fall in your last single crochet, so before the front post treble. We're now going to work very similar to what we did here with the purple, we're going to do again. We're going to skip the front post treble and go into these purple stitches. I'm going to work a double crochet on the last three. So you've got that 
first one there, if I just open it up, that first one, we're going to skip that one, and then in the last three, work a double crochet. And while you're doing so, again, be sure not to snag any of your loops or stitches here to the back. So only in these stitches from round 10, I believe it is, or 9, I don't know, don't remember. But into that, so if I, let me just do that again. So you're going to skip that first one, and then in the second one, work a double crochet. And in the third one, and the fourth, which is the one, which is the stitch before the chain two space. And you now work three double crochets. Add everything here to the back, that's still loose, you haven't connected anything. I'm going to do that now with the chain 2 space. So in the chain 2 space, I'm going to work 2 doubles and we're going to snag that chain 4 loop to the back. You're going to take both of them and complete your double. I'm going to work 2 doubles, chain 2, and 2 more doubles. All in that same space and connecting the chain 4 space to your work. We're going to come down and work 3 double crochets on this side the same as we did on coming up. So in the first stitch and be sure to only take the stitch so you've got these these loops here to the back and those stitches to the back be sure that you don't catch them, that you leave them unworked. So one. Two and three. Oh, my yarn is just misbehaving. There we go. You can see how these stitches look very similar to what we've did, done a row down and a row down. Now we're going to come back and work in the red stitches. We're going to skip the treble, front post treble. Then go to that first stitch, which is the single crochet. And that's going to be the first of ten, which will bring you to the corner. And then you can make a new corner and start the next edge and then go all the way around. I'll just work these last two stitches with you. So these should be ten single crochets if everything went right. And the last one. Then you have the corner, single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. I just want to show you your work from the back. If you look here to the back, you see you've got the four doubles connecting the chain four space to your work, and here you've got a chain two, and there you've got a chain two that are still unworked, and you can get into those stitches easily. And also on this side you've still got a bit of space. So this is what you want your work to look like from the back. From the front again, go all the way around. When you get to the first stitch, close on there with a slip stitch. Round 12, new kind of yarn on my hook. And we're going to start with a standing double crochet in any chain to corner space. standing double, followed by two more doubles. This is of course exactly the same as the corner we've made for all of these um, second round, every second round, so it's the same as here and there and there and there. So three doubles, chain two and three doubles. So one, two, and three. So three doubles, chain two, and three doubles in the chain two corner space. We're going to continue on the straight edge. We're going to skip the first stitch. It's going to be that stitch there, which is covered by the corner, and go on to the second stitch. So that's that stitch. In the back loop, work a double crochet. So back loop only. 
double crochet. And this is the first of seven. So one, two, three, four. This is number five. Six. And the last one, number seven. In the next stitch, a back loop half double. And in the next, a back loop single crochet. We're now going to come down and work a front post double around the front post from two rows down. So that means yarn over, then around that double crochet work a front post double crochet. Creating a nice textured line here. Chain 2. Going to go to the back of our work. As you see here you've got all these spaces from two rows down. We're going to be working in those. In the first chain two space, here yeah, this first space, work a single crochet in that chain two space. Chain two. Work a single crochet in the chain four space before the set of double crochets you have here. Yeah, this is from the tip. So before that work a single crochet. Chain 2. Now go to the other side of this set of doubles and still in the chain 4 space, see where I'm at, work a single crochet. Chain 2. And then in the chain 2 space here to the back, Work a single crochet. Chain 2. And now come back to the front and work a front post double around the front post double. And complete that front post double. So what does your work look like from the back? Let's just take a moment to see. Open this up. You've got chain two, single crochet in the first chain two space, chain two, single crochet in between this. Um, I believe that was a double crochet and all these doubles that you've got in there. So that little stitch, same chain two, and it's same on the other side, chain two, and a single crochet here in the chain two space, the chain two before the front post double. So this is what your work looks like from the back. Back to the front, I'm going to come up and skip the first two single crochets. So you see here one, two singles. I'm going to skip those, then in the third single back loop, work a single crochet. A half double in the next, and a double crochet in the next seven. Everything back loop stitches. Next up is the corner, same corner as before. So there's three doubles, three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. So one, two, and three. This corner, same as the corner we started with. So 
what we've just done on this edge. Do that on your other three also and then close on your first stitch. Round 13. This round is going to be different from what we've done till now. So we're not going to be working like these single crochets here. What we're going to do is we're going to work back post single crochets on most of our stitches and then here in the back in those chain two spaces we made in the last round we're going to be working double crochets. It's mostly what we're going to be doing. I have a slip knot on my hook. You can start on any corner. We're going to start in the first double crochet after the corner. So in that stitch. We're going to work back post single crochets. And the first one is going to be a standing back post single. From the back to the front, around the post of that stitch, and the first one can always be a little tricky. Start with a back post standing single crochet. This is the first stitch of 10. You're going to make 10 of these back post singles in total, including that first standing one. And these things take time, these stitches. So that's three. easier for you, you can flip your work over and then your back posts become a front post. And that actually does go a bit faster. So I often work my, when I have a long series of back post stitches, I have the back of my work facing and then I can just act as though it's a front post and that goes faster. But if you want to work the way you're supposed to, Without all the little tricks, you have your front of your work facing and from the back to the front you work your stitch. So back post single crochets, you need 10. This is the last one, this is number 10. Let me just count and double check. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10 back post single crochets. Do you see happening if you see these stitches? They roll forward and that gives you a nice edge. The next stitch is the half double. We're going to work a back post half double around that stitch. So around that stitch, back post, half double. We're going to skip the single and the front post here. We're going to go to the back. And in those chain two spaces we made in the last round, we're going to be working in those. In the first one we worked two doubles, two doubles in the second, three doubles in the third one, and then two doubles again, and two doubles. That's what we're going to be doing. So in that first chain two space, the first one, work two double crochets. One, two. The next chain two space, work two doubles. One, two. The next one is the center one, it's the one behind your tip. It's three doubles. One, two, and three. Two doubles in the next. Oh dear, my cat just sneezed. And two and two doubles in the last chain two space. There we go. You can see how this makes a background for the tip from two rows down. I'm going to do the same on this side as we did on that side. So we're going to skip the front post treble and we're going to skip the single and around the half double Going to make a back post half double. Around that stitch, back post half double. If you look closely, you see there's the strap from the stitch. Then the next stitches, all ten of them, going to make a back post single crochet. And two. Four, and again, if you want to tip your work forward, 
flip it over and then work front post stitches which I do a lot actually for it's five six this is number seven eight and then the last two I'll work from the front again eight nine and then number 10. This is the last one before the chain two corner space. 10, back post, single crochet. As you can see the stitches there, and they, how they roll this edge forward. The corner, the chain two corner, you're actually going to skip the chain two corner. What you to do is make it chain two. That's your new corner. Skipping the chain 2 space, on the next stitch work a back post single again. And this back post single is exactly the same as the standing back post single stitch we started with. So that stitch there is the same as that stitch there. But you're now going to do 10 back post singles, the back post half double, and then work in your chain spaces here to the back. So everything you've just done, do that all the way around. After your last chain two, you're going to work these back post single crochets, chain two, and then close on this first standing stitch with a slip stitch. Leave your yarn attached because we're going to be using the same color in the next round. Round 14. You're currently in that single crochet or that back post single crochet with a slip stitch. You can do one of two things. I'm going to continue from this point onwards because I'm using the same color yarn. However, if you want to, you can also cut your yarn and start in the corner. This is up to you. I'm going to start here because it's then I don't have to work in an extra yarn tail. So we're going to work in half doubles on every stitch with the exception of here in the middle. I'm going to do a chain two. This is my first half double. Then in the next stitch, work a half double. You, can, you want 16 half doubles along this edge in total, including that starting chain two. So that's one, two, three, four, As you do 15, you're really passing behind your um, this tip here, and this is number 16. I've now done 16 half doubles, counting and including that starting chain two. Your next stitch is going to be the center of the three double crochets you have back here. You see, that's the center one. And we're going to be catching this pedal you've got here, that tip. You're going to work a half double yarn over, to go through the chain 2 space and your next stitch and connect everything with the half double. Then on your next stitch work a half double and you're going to have to make sure that you get into that because that's going to be a little bit covered by your work here to the front. And then going to work 16 half doubles again until you get to the corner. I believe this is number two, three. One more stitch to go. It's my last one. So now I've worked 16 stitches since that one. So that the one to 16 brings me to the corner. The corner work only in the chain two space from round 13, so that's important. Only the chain two space from round 13. The corner is two half doubles, chain two, and two half doubles, and two. So what happens is by only working in the corner is this chain two loop from round um, two rows down or so, then that forms a nice edge here on your work. You see that continuous edge, then you get that effect. So be sure to leave this chain two space unworked. Now onto my straight edge again. 
work a half double on the next 16 stitches and when you're halfway here with that center stitch catch the petal you've got here go to your next edge work the corner go all the way around when you get to your first stitch in my case it's the chain 2 here if you start it in the corner it'll be your standing half double close on your first stitch round 15 new color yarn on my hook and we're going to start in any chain 2 corner space I'm going to start with a standing single crochet in that corner chain 2 and another single crochet that's your new corner made we're going to skip the first stitch that's and that stitch there and that's actually making life easy for us because this first stitch went on a half double it's always hard to get into second stitch work a single crochet continue and work a single crochet on every stitch when you get to the other side work a new corner it's going to be again a single crochet chain two and a single crochet then remember to skip the first half double and work your another edge a single crochet on every stitch go all the way around and then close on your first stitch round 16 new color yarn on my hook and we're going to work the last round of this square start in any chain 2 corner space and work a corner which is going to be two doubles chain two and two doubles in the same space and two that's your new corner made on the straight edge work a double crochet in the back loop of every stitch first one, always a little tricky, that first one back loop, double crochet to the other side when you get to the corner, work a new corner it's going to be, the, going to be two doubles, chain two two doubles in your chain two corner space and then go all the way round after you've done your last back loop double crochet close on your first stitch when you've finished the square and worked away all your yarn tails this is what your square looks like a bit wobbly and wonky so take a moment to block the square you'll find there's also quite some stretch still in here because the design pulls inward so take a moment to block the square to get it nice and flat and when you've finished blocking your square this is what it looks like nice and straight brings us to the end of this instruction video thank you for watching i hope to see you again next time